let's bring in Jill Jackson with her hot political ads. Jill, what has caught your attention this week? Well, we have three ads for you this week. They run from serious to spoofy. Our first ad comes from Senator Barbara Boxer from California, who's in a very tough race against former Hewlett Packard CEO Carly Fiorina. So let's take a look at that one. Laid off 30,000 workers. When you're talking about massive layoffs, which we did, perhaps the work needs to be done somewhere else. Fiorina shipped jobs to China. And while Californians lost their jobs, Fiorina tripled her salary, bought a million dollar yacht, and five corporate jets. I'm proud of what I did at HP. Carly Fiorina, outsourcing jobs out for herself. I'm Barbara Boxer, and I approve this message. Wow, gloves are off there. That's pretty tough. It is, in fact, Carly Fiorina. Some of her friends at Hewlett Packard set up a website. It's uh, Carly at HP.com, where former co workers could could write in about her record there um, to defend her. But at the same time, this is a theme we're seeing in races across the country. Everyone, it's, everyone's pitting the business person against the politician and, who, and arguing over who is best to fix the economic problems. Normally you see the challenger attacking the incumbent. This is really interesting. Yes. You have an incumbent here not necessarily defending her record, but going after exactly. The she's on she's on offense, but she has but she's doing that because she's on defense and yeah. knows she's in trouble and, and is absolutely going right after Carly Fiorina's what record. Else? What else we got? We got well. Did you know that Speaker Nancy Pelosi has a challenger in San Francisco? The, I would say, does it matter? It's a Republican <laughs> challenger in liberal San Francisco. Well, she does. His name is John Dennis. He's a businessman, and he actually uh, put together this ad. He had this idea with a fellow a radio producer or friend of his to do movie themed ads. So here his, is his ad against Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I wish there was a political party I could vote for with a brain. Or courage. Or a high. I don't care about political parties. I just want a home that isn't blown away by debt. Oh, Toto. I'll put you in debt for oh. generations. <laughs> oh, that's not it at all, Toto. Not at all. But first, pay $18,000 a month for my downtown office, and then go into massive debt for Wall Street bailouts. And here are my monkeys to make you pay for it all. Step back, everyone. Oh, I fell deep. Thank you for saving us. Who are you? I'm John Dennis. I'm running for Congress. I believe in following the Constitution, and I believe in reducing debt, and I believe it's time to throw a little water on politicians who say one thing and do another like Nancy Pelosi. We're home, Toto, we're home. <laughs> is, is that, is that going to be on the air, really? Yes, uh, it's going to be on the air. And we asked uh, Speaker Pelosi if she'd seen the ad. She said she has seen a split second of it. Um, she was asked what she thought about it. And she said, you know, if you want to spend that money in my district, go for it. Spend all you can. Do you spend it all. The old American bandstand used to rate songs for Can You Dance to It? I mm -hmm. at least rate that for creativity. Very creative. In fact, I, I was told, he, uh, the, the candidate himself told me the next ad is going to be James Bond themed. So uh, that, Make sure I'm back for that. Right. Uh, all right. And that brings <laughs> us to number three. We, the third is from the senior senator from the state of Iowa, Senator Chuck Grassley. Let's take a look. I heard Chuck Grassley has a Twitter. Oh, can it be cured? Oh, not that kind. I like to use new technologies like Twitter and Facebook just to keep in touch. And meetings in 99 counties every year. I'll tweet, I'll text, I'll do whatever it takes. I work for you. Grassley works for us. I'm Chuck Grassley, and I approve this message. That's interesting. It is. The message there is, I've been around for a while, but I'm with He's the times. Been around for a while. He's 77 years old today, and he today. Today. Happy birthday to Senator Grassley. Yep, and uh, you know he's the. What I think is actually interesting about this ad is think back to just 2008. Twitter, nobody talked about Twitter back then, and now we have one of the most senior members of the Senate putting it in a television campaign ad. Have you have you seen tweets from Senator Absolutely. Grassley? Absolutely, he's a regular tweeter. Really. Wow, that's quite interesting. In fact, he tweeted, I, I know it's his birthday because he tweeted it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, technology is a wonderful thing. It is. Yeah. It Jill, is. thanks very much. That was, uh, that was quite entertaining.